Hey guys, uh, I've been showing a lot of videos um, concerning the the latest XFCE release that's due to go live any day now. Uh, today I want to show off not just the actual usage but the actual installation part as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and click this uh, setup icon here. Just give it a second to boot up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to start the clock. It's now 8.56. We won't count the seconds. It's about to go to 8.57. Um, so let's continue. I want to show you <coughs> the procedure. It says need to have 7.3 gigs of space available. It's plugged into a power source. It's connected to the internet. You can download updates, install third-party software um, if you want to. Otherwise, leave them unticked. Um, continue. Okay, 8.57, so it was a few seconds out, so we basically say 8.56 the clock started. Um, it will give you the option to erase the whole disk and install, encrypt, da -da, something else. Okay, that's the common one, so we'll just take erase disk, install now. <coughs> give it a second to format the drives. I am doing this in VirtualBox, by the way. Okay, Johannesburg's already selected. I suppose that's because I'm from South Africa and it was built by me. If it's a different area for you, you can just select the area on the map. South Africa, English, that's right. Next. I'm just going to put in uh, my name over here. That's fine. I'll just put any password in there just for... I'm going to choose to auto login. Yes, I like auto login. Continue. And installation will start. Now, let us check how long this takes. I started the installation at 6.56 p.m. Um, actual installation, once I filled in the forms and selected all the user settings, it was 6.58 uh, now obviously since people will sit and, and decide on passwords and stuff and take their time there, I'll actually count the actual start of installation from 8.658. Uh, so uh, I just want to show you guys how easy the installation is and how quick it is. I mean uh, it's not just the distribution that's fast, um, the actual installation is super fast. Um, considering that it's installing 7 gigs worth of data onto your PC and uh, you know it comes pre-configured with everything out of the box I mean it is insane how fast this distribution is uh, not just from a usage standpoint but even from just from installation right through um, so yeah I I, I don't um, yeah, I don't, don't want to click on anything now. I just want to leave it to get a true speed here. Um, so it's almost finished copying files. By the way, I'm, I've am i released beta 1 today. I'm currently working on the um, next build, which will probably... I don't know if there will be a beta 2. That will really just depend if any bugs are reported back this week. I, I don't really suspect any would. Um, I will probably go from here to start working on the uh, final build so uh, I'm actually very impressed that this is all gone at such great speed um, I can't believe how quickly I actually once I once I sort of mastered you know got into my routine everything just fell into place from there um, at first yeah the first first I'd say the first month and a half maybe the first two months I had a lot of difficulty, especially because it's Ubuntu based. I had a lot, of, you know, it's it's completely different from Debian, and there was a lot of issues I had to work through and sort out and fix. Uh, but once I pushed through that that initial stage, you know, the, the rest just kind of fell into place because um, the 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 second phase of developing um, Debian and Ubuntu are virtually the same to work on. So uh, it was kind of just like a 20 or 30 step guide that I've done a uh, hundred times over, a thousand times over. So that that mostly all went pretty quick. 
um, just that first initial getting the bugs fixed getting it to run stable um, tweaking it to to get you know maximum speed out of it blah 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 that that I think is is, is literally what actually took me like uh, two maybe two and a bit months I don't know uh, I didn't actually keep track of time but I know it took me took me a while to get all that sorted out but once I was past that stage everything just kind of fell into place from there onwards um, right it's copied the files installing the system it's actually almost done um, we are now three minutes into installation so clock is ticking um, let's see where it goes from here I've made a nice little slideshow so it's there we go configuring system locals configuring time zone configuring keyboard creating user I think we're nearing the end of installation now so far five minutes five five minutes configuring target system loading module USB storage configuring hardware almost done I wonder if this installation is even faster than Windows because I know the new Windows 8 kind of sports you know this whole it's part of their motto that it's so quick to install and I know it's fairly quick I've, I've done the few installations for people and I think it took me like 10 or 15 minutes not even it was quite quick but anyway, um, <coughs> it's almost done. It's just configuring the drivers and hardware and stuff. Um, we are now currently on. There we go. Grub. Grub's usually the last phase. Um, we start on 858. We're currently on five minutes. And running post installation triggers installing system restoring previously installed packages done five minutes flat 858 uh, 658 to 70 well 704 so five six minutes flat and now I can reboot the system into um, into the new system so there we go I'll just reset that just make sure that's all unmounted yes there we go it's just a quicker boot up instead of watching it uh, power down for luck I think it probably might even take longer to power down than anything else but anyway um, <clears throat> so yeah so there you go new Makulu Linux it is not just fast with running it literally took what five and a bit minutes to install um, it this is super fast it is unheard of um, I don't think I've ever done a Linux installation in <laughs> what five minutes before so it's a huge improvement over the previous editions I mean some of you guys used to take what 40 50 minutes to install this is five minutes uh, literally if I actually had to count the seconds you know because I didn't quite see where I started um, when I actually started it I wasn't counting the second so it's not down to the actual second but there we go five minutes to done in fact um, seven minutes and I'm actually booted back into the into the installation full on fully working there is my username um, so yeah so from the actual time that installation started not when I filled in the details even though that only took about a minute um, from the actual start of when I started installing the files to actually finishing booting back into the system was seven minutes the actual installation was about five just over five minutes that my friends is super fast that is what you can expect from this new build it's fast to use fast to install speed I mean this is nailed 
nailed nailed nailed i think this is going to be probably one of the fastest distributions of the year if not the fastest anyway just wanted to show that off to you guys this is jacques from mcclue linux I'll chat to you soon